as I said before, in order to have a, an effective paper recycling system, we need to have virgin fibre coming in at the beginning. And when we recycle that virgin fibre, it's not going to be as good quality as it was when it came into the system. So the first recycle, we might get something like um, mixed office waste. You know, we might use magazine grade. And then when that goes through the recycling process, which involves repulping and obviously de-inking and various other process technologies, that paper wouldn't really be so suitable for such high-end use. So it might be used, for example, newsprint for the second use. For the third use, it might only be of sufficient quality to use as tissue. And for the fourth use, we might simply incinerate or maybe use for insulation or something like that. Now, obviously, when a virgin fibre comes into a system, we know it's a virgin fibre. But once it's in this recycling system, we can't possibly know the history of each individual fibre. So the only way we're going to be able to control the content of what's going into, say, a newsprint system is to say that we need a certain percentage, say 50% of magazines, mixed office waste, high quality paper, and 50% of newspa newspaper. So we know that the newspapers will be uh, of a certain recycled content, we don't know exactly what that will be, but if we're constantly feeding in these virgin fibres from the magazine grade, or at least a certain proportion of virgin fibres from the magazine grade, we will know we will get a consistent quality of product coming out at the newsprint end of things. Some of this material will be taken through and used as tissue. For the really high-end tissues, of course, people will insist on virgin fibre. But uh, the quality of recycled fibre these days is, is so good that you can make very high-end tissue, very high-end newsprint without even knowing it comes from recycled, pipe, recycled paper. So we have to have a certain amount of virgin fibre coming into the system and we have to have a certain amount obviously leaving that system in some way. Otherwise we would just get degradation and at some point we couldn't use that pulp anymore and it wouldn't take very long because a lot of these products have got very short lifetimes. A magazine might last six months, uh, a paperback book maybe a couple of years, a newspaper a few days. So this is a very, very active system. There is material running through this at a constant rate um, and um, it's very important to keep a very close eye on the, on the quality of the material that's being delivered and the quality of the material that's being produced in the paper making machines. Um, and yes, the one thing I was going to say about this, I know I've mentioned it before, but this is called downcycling rather than recycling because the quality is falling off. And another word for this is cascading. which has become very fashionable of late to use that word. <laughs>